He engages in the single collar side, and an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Big punch land. Takedown defense holds up. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. So we pull up the numbers here. 45 total strikes unofficially have landed for Piotr Young. Accuracy rate in terms of strikes thrown and landed has dipped below 40%, 37% on the connection rate against Piotr Young. Head kick, that's a miss. There's no give on that leg kick. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right food. Tonight, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh! Oh! Great man, John. That's it! Oh, my well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that team. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 27 seconds of round number three. Declared the winner by TKO Fishing the sea, but I'm 